Hello, hello. So inflation data is actually out just a few minutes earlier and the stock market is soaring. As you'll see, everything is up quite a lot with the Nasdaq being up almost 3% over here, the S&P up 2%. So let's uh, take a look. Um, all items, CBI for all items rises 0.1% in November as shelter and food increase. We will examine those in a little bit more detail. But first things first, let's take a little bit of a look at uh, this article. 10 year Treasury yield drops below 3.5%, understandably, after inflation reading comes in lighter than expected, is the key thing here. Now, the Treasury yield slid, of course, uh, after data showed uh, that inflation rose less than expected for November. So they did expect, I believe, 0.3% uh, of an increase, and uh, it looks like we're getting 0.1%. And so the, the, yield, uh, the yield on the benchmark 10-year uh, Treasury has uh, been dropping right now, dropped uh, 13 basis points. And of course, this uh, actually fuels the hope that we're getting out of inflation sooner rather than later. And also the fact that uh, the Federal Reserve could actually slow the pace of rate hikes is another interesting thing here. Now, you will see that um, the consumer price index rose just 0.1% from the previous month and increased 7.1% from a year ago. An economist surveyed by Dow Jones, yeah, had been expecting a 0.3% monthly increase is uh, what we have been hearing and a 7.3% 12-month rate, which uh, seems to be better than uh, actually this one, this number is actually worse than what is currently happening. So this is uh, good news that we're having right, right now. And of course, as the Fed is trying to battle this high inflation, they may actually slow down on the, you know, on the progress of increasing um, interest rates just because uh, they may not have to be as uh, as aggressive as they used to and that's uh, that's why you're looking at the soaring market because uh, you know the less uh, the, the, the rate hikes the better the stock market will uh, be reacting understandably now I, I have this um, over here which uh, is basically um, an article that talks about the November inflationary pro report uh, price gains slow more than expected. Uh, it's um, a very, very new article here, just basically telling you what is going to be happening with uh, inflation and uh, the rate decisions. But um, this is also linking to this article over here about uh, the Consumer Price Index, which is basically the, um, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. It's the official one. It's not really an article. It's, I should say, an announcement. And um, this is what we're getting, food 7.1%. This is um, oh, this is all items, sorry. Food is, um, uh, as you'll see here, 10.6%. Uh, so this is uh, quite a significant increase uh, for the last 12 months. But uh, the overall is 7.1%. And you will see that, of course, oil is insane over here. An insane increase in oil, electricity, uh, utility. This is the These are the things that are expected to rise. Although they are going down. And that's, uh, that's obviously a nice thing to see. Apart from the fuel oil, which is still going up. But take a look at October. That was 20% of an increase. Insane. And um, a lot of these items, like energy here, as you'll see, gasoline, uh, fuel oil, they are going down. They're kind of moving on, on uh, towards you know the, where they should be moving on, like going down instead of up. And uh, utilities like gas services here are also going down. Uh, you know The other increases are, are not significant here. Some, some increases in services, as you'll see, shelter 0.6%. Medical care services are actually going down. So overall, we're having a 7.1. Again, we were expecting a 7.3, it looks like, and 7.1 uh, points to uh, better than expected results. This is why we're getting uh, you know, pretty much a, a, a huge uh, a green day, it looks like, in the markets. Again, if we take it back to our uh, futures over here, you will see that uh, yeah, right now the Nasdaq is up 3.25%. Uh, Let's take a little bit of a quick look, uh, just uh, quickly see what's happening with some of the big companies here. I'm uh, using our tool here and you will see that uh, Meta, for instance, is up 6%. Let's um, let's take a look at a couple more. Let's say let's say Google. What is going on with Google right now? <laughs> My Google Home is actually reacting. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying right now. <laughs> okay, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Four percent for Google right now. What about uh, Alibaba? Um, Alibaba over here is up 3.4 percent. Let's check Amazon as well. Uh, just uh, checking the tech space uh, for the most part. Of course, I'm going to be making videos separately for for all of these companies, so 4%. So yeah, it looks like we're going to be having a pretty green day over here. Again, if there is something new, I will let you know, but just wanted to bring you the news in regards to what is happening with inflation. Good stuff. So yeah, if you have bought earlier, I guess in the past few weeks, you have been rewarded quite handsomely. Uh, stock market has been giving you some uh, better values. 
uh, especially if you bought companies that have been really suppressed like Alibaba was in the past. Right now it's looking like we're heading towards 100, so you could have bought like some, somewhere near 70 or something of that sort. With a lot of these companies really that are going down. So again, we'll go, we will examine these in separate videos, but thanks for watching this one, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.